Hi, welcome to Rose Video Recipe Box. My name is Amy and today I'm going to show you how to make a blue cheese pull apart loaf. What you'll need is your baking pan and you want to spray it with some nonstick spray. And then you'll need 12 dinner rolls and you want them thawed but still cold and you're going to cut them in fourths and arrange it kind of in like a French bread shape. And I put them on my pan. And then next what you do is you take your butter and this is two tablespoons of butter but you're just going to use half of it for this first layer. So I'm going to brush half of this butter on this first layer of rolls. And then I'm going to take half of my blue cheese and put it on top. And if you love blue cheese, you could use more. We're using a half of a cup, just like that. And then I've got some herbs and some garlic. And this is a mixture of dried herbs and fresh herbs. And I'm just using half of it like that. Just sprinkle it right on top of your rolls. And then next what you'll do is you'll take your other six dinner rolls. So it's 12 rolls total and you're going to cut them into fourths. So I'm just using a pair of scissors and it's just really easy. You just cut it in half and then those halves in half. So now you're just going to take these and you want to stack them right on top. Just fill it in. like that. I'm going to tuck that one right in there. Then use the rest of your butter and brush this layer with butter. And I'm going to use all of it up and just let it soak down through the layers. Just like that. And then the rest of your blue cheese. Sprinkle it on. your herbs. Now this needs to rise until it's doubled in size. So we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for a little bit. And you won't need to spray your plastic wrap because there's butter in this recipe so your plastic wrap won't stick. And then I want to show you what it looks like once it's cooked because it looks really cool tastes even better. This is the blue cheese pull apart. If you'd like the complete recipe, visit roadsbread.com and thanks for baking with us.